A chilly evening outside across the Rio Grande Valley. And this weekend, lots to know ahead. And that's why local, local 23's chief meteorologist, Isaac Williams, is tracking our weekend forecast. Isaac, how's it looking? Uh, well, good news for the drought you just mentioned. It is going to rain potentially tomorrow. It's just not going to uh, remove the droughts altogether. But we'll take what we can get. Passing showers throughout your Saturday, mainly cloudy and much cooler air in store. We will be clearing up by Sunday, so that's some good news. And a beautiful Sunday afternoon is in store. Walking you through Saturday, we are going to start the day overcast, maybe with some light showers or drizzle, but the rain chance actually picks up just a bit throughout the day. We'll see scattered to locally numerous showers, especially for the lower valley locations closer to the coast. But temperatures, they just do not budge. We start the day in the low 50s. We stay in the low 50s. We end the day in the lower to middle 50s across the board. We're not going to see a whole swing in temperatures like we've been seeing recently. Staying in those 50s throughout the uh, afternoon and into the evening, the rain might become briefly heavy at times if we're lucky, but overall this should be more of a steady, scattered light rain. But having said that, we're hoping, fingers crossed, that we can at least get about a half inch of rain out of this, especially for the lower valley and coastal locations. Uh, living in the middle and upper valley, not to say you won't see rain, but the rain totals uh, from our computer model match my forecast in that they should be dropping off to barely enough to measure, which is exactly where we don't need that to happen. In fact, uh, Star and Zapata County is actually in the worst of the droughts relative to the rest of the valley. But we all need some rain around here, and at least we have that chance to kick off the weekend tomorrow. By Sunday, though, afternoon highs getting closer to 70 degrees. We'll have some cloudiness early, but the afternoon certainly looking a lot better. So if you're trying to do some things outside, maybe decorating, and maybe you put that off, uh, Sunday the day to do it because uh, tomorrow certainly is not the best day to be outside. Highs getting into the 60s earlier today. Probably won't see 60s tomorrow. We are looking at temperatures now in the 50s. 55 in Harlingen, 54 in Edinburgh, 55 in McAllen. Rio Grande City, 53 in Westlaco, the same for Brownsville, a warmer 63 there on the island. We actually have seen a, very, a few light showers trying to get across the border and across the river into the far lower valley region. We are basically seeing a lot of this evaporate, but we have seen a few light showers or sprinkles, and we'll continue to keep that trend going because higher pressure is still in control, but we're about to see the change continue here as this area of low pressure across northwestern Mexico finally works across the country and winds up in uh, central Texas by the time we get to Saturday. And as that happens, we should start to see the rain chance increase. Clouds continue to increase tonight with 50 degrees, your overnight low. And then for tomorrow, cloudy all day with temperatures again staying steady in the lower 50s with on and off rain throughout the entire day. Next week, though, no more rain. We're back in the uh, normal feels of uh, early to mid-December around here with highs in the 70s and morning lows in the 40s to lower 50s.